Chapter 6 Alan woke up, feeling totally disoriented. He blinked his eyes, trying to figure out where he was. He then sat up, surveying his surroundings. Bare floor, brick walls, and a kerosene lamp by a mat on the floor. Oh, you're up, good timing, said a twenty-ish looking westerner who had just entered the room. I'm Robert, he said, extending his hand. Alan, the Hennessy scion mumbled, shaking it. Where am I? A little above Rishikesh, at Baba's ashram, came the reply. Baba? The guy who brought you here last night? Alan nodded to himself. It was all now coming back to him. Where is he? In the kitchen, go out this door straight across to the room opposite it. Alan pulled on his jeans and sneakers, leaving the room. The building was made of four distinct sections, with an outdoor T-shape running between them. He walked over to the kitchen with its floor-level charcoal brazier at one end. Crouching before it was a husky man with a yellow wraparound turban, sautéing some onions in a pan. Hello, Alan called out, but the man took no notice of him. Alan came closer, tapping him on the shoulder. Just wanted to thank you. No problem. Baba replied, his eyes still fixed on the pan. Really, I'm very grateful. I was totally lost. You think I need to hear your whole melodrama? Baba exclaimed, giving him a fierce glance. Your soul cried out and I answered. Alan stood, dumbstruck. I've been expecting you, Baba added. If you want to stop running from your demons, you may stay. Otherwise, I want you gone within the hour. For a moment... Time stood still. All Alan was aware of was the sound of the onion sizzling in the pan. He tried to speak, but no words came out. The sound of the onions frying became louder and louder as a sob began to work its way out of Alan's chest. Finally, some words spilled out of him, almost beyond his control. Let me stay? Alan asked. The yogi nodded, shooing him off. Alan left the room, feeling strange to his own self. He tried to take a deep breath, but the sob that had been climbing out of his chest erupted. It was a tortured sounding moan, and Alan hadn't the foggiest idea of where it all came from. Several minutes later, he returned to Robert, who was now bending his chest over his outstretched legs. Who is that guy? Alan asked, his question coming out more like a demand. He's my teacher. Robert answered, his chin touching his kneecaps. Yeah, but, Alan replied impatiently, who is he? For a few moments, Robert said nothing. Total mystery, man. From day one, total mystery, Robert finally replied, shaking his head. A few minutes later, Baba entered the room. Five minutes, he told Robert, and bring him. Bring me where, Alan asked after Baba had left. Torture time, bro. Here, I've got an extra, Robert said, tossing him a pair of Columbia sweatpants and t-shirt. Alan slipped into the clothes, wondering how much poetic license Robert was taking with the word torture. What are we gonna do? Kundalini yoga. Let's see who survives it today, Robert said, as he walked out with Alan close behind. Hurry up, Baba called out as Robert picked up the pace. He put a mat down quickly for himself and Alan as both of them sat down before the yogi. It is not you who betray your soul, Baba said, looking at the black, toxic swirl in Alan's aura. It's your fears. And that is why we have to create enough energy inside to clean it all out. Understand? Baba asked, staring right at Alan. Sure, Alan answered, having not the slightest idea of what Baba had just said. Baba then put them through a killer yoga set, which was only the prelude to the meditation part. Sit on your knees, Baba instructed. Bring the thumb and pinky together. Extend the arms rock solid straight out and begin twisting them back and forth as though you were opening a safe. Alan did as he was instructed, and within five minutes, the pain in his arms and shoulders had become excruciating. Give yourself up to it! Baba shouted as Alan's energy started to flag. Don't let the pain beat you. Keep your arms up, straight. 
The minutes dragged on and on, as Alan mentally begged Baba to end it, but there was no reprieve. Alan started to breathe as deeply as he could, and his arms began to shake uncontrollably. All right, hold it. Now, inhale, exhale, and relax, Baba finally called out. Oh, man, Alan moaned as both he and Robert straightened out their legs, trying to get the pain out of their bodies. Neither of you know how to relate to a teacher, Baba said sternly after a few moments. I didn't tell you to get off your knees. Minimizing pain has its cost. So, here is yours. <laughs>